In total, publicly traded U.S. tech companies have stashed as much as $530 billion in offshore tax havens, money that the U.S. government may never see. Fan favorite Microsoft operates five shell companies that hold nearly $93 billion in profit. That's $29.6 billion in tax revenue, up in smoke. They've used some of that tax-free profit to buy foreign companies like Nokia. And most recently, they burnt $2.5 billion to buy Minecraft creator Mojang. Oracle operates six shell companies, where they pay a measly 4% tax on their $39 billion stash. And Google has operated as many as 25 shell companies in tax havens. Since no U.S. taxes get paid on their $47.4 billion hoard, these dollars truly become... Google bucks. Make you want to vomit? Well, it gets worse. In 2011, Dell's Dutch subsidiary paid a one-tenth of 1% 1 tax on $2 billion in profit. The kicker? The shell company had zero employees. Finally, famous watchmaker Apple has three Irish subsidiaries for tax purposes. As of 2013, two of these companies had zero employees, yet altogether they hold $69.7 billion in profits, which is $24 billion in taxes... Yep, you guessed it, never paid. Given these strategies, Apple's overall tax rate just keeps falling, from 24.8% in 2009 to 14.7% in 2010 to 9.8% in 2011. Meanwhile, it's become the world's most valuable company. So this year, when you're sacrificing your paycheck to pay your taxes, just think about all the ways you could turn that money back into profit if you were a big, giant company. Hey, and if you want more Wired videos, just click subscribe. It's good.